guys, what is up? So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of an every plate order that I just got. I went ahead and opened it as you can see. So they give you some coupons here that you can give to other people. And then in here are just some like perks that you get, so subscription or whatever. And then in, um, what comes also on top are the recipes. So for this week, I got three things. I got the honey glazed pork, honey glazed pork chops. So on these, it tells you everything that you're gonna get there. So it says what we send. And then at the bottom, it tells you what you need. And then on the back, it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions, which is pretty cool. So we have the honey glazed pork, gooey broccoli cheddar penne bake with gar uh, garlic and mozzarella, which sounds really good. And the Gravy Lover's Meatballs. I'm really excited about this one. All right, so let's see what we got. So it's, um, they send it in this, it's a pretty small box for everything that you're gonna get, but I like how they package because on top it has this um, really thick padding. And I'm not even sure what it is on the inside, but um, it really does keep everything cool that's in there. All right, so right on top you get just your condiments. So we've got some cream cheese, some sour cream, there's some honey in there, some soy sauce, looks like a beef um, concentrate stock type of deal. So yeah, that's everything that's in there. So usually what's in here needs to be refrigerated. So I'll be sure and refrigerate the things that are in here. What also came in here is the uh, Italian seasoning that goes with one of the recipes, I'm not real sure, but um, yeah, that was in there too. So I won't put this in the refrigerator. I'll leave this one out. All right, so first we have our green beans. So it's nice because they come in this little package here and they're microwavable. That one's a microwave safe bag, so that's kind of cool. And it's enough for two servings. Then we have one piece of bread. So I'm assuming that bread is for the meatballs. One thing I really love about getting these boxes is, you know, you need one piece of bread, they send you one piece of bread. So you're not wasting, you know, if you're not a bread eater or whatever, you don't have to go to the store and buy a full loaf of bread. They're just sending you one loaf and because that's all you're gonna need. Next we have some cheese. I'm not sure which recipe this is for, but they give you just enough. So it looks like some cheddar cheese there. And then we have a pretty big bag of broccoli florets. And they're cut small, which I really like. So it's an eight ounce container or serving there, and it's a microwave, microwave safe bag. All right, so if you can see down here, you can see that um, it's these things are in like a little box here. What they do is they put your vegetables in a little box. So that's kind of what I'm pulling out. Let me go ahead and pull out the, the cheese, the other cheese. I'm assuming this is mozzarella. And just enough penne pasta for that one, what was it, broccoli, cheese, gooey something. So that's um, just enough pasta for that. I went ahead and pulled out the box here and you can see we have pretty big zucchini. That's a pretty big zucchini there. And it looks like a little, is that maybe like a pearl onion or something? It's a small onion. We've got four potatoes, the garlic. Usually if you need garlic, usually you're gonna need it for, mo for most of the recipes. So they send you usually a um, whole head of garlic and then a small onion. So that was um, all of the vegetables. So put all that back in there. So what I do is I just put this whole little box into the refrigerator. It stores really well that way. So you're not taking up too much room. Everything is in this one little box. You see down here, there is a, um, it's like an ice pack thing. So it's still pretty solid. Down in the bottom, they always have the meat down there that goes with your recipes. This time I only have two recipes rather than three that has meat. We have ground beef. This is 85-15 ground beef. Sometimes it's it's a higher percentage, so less fat. Uh, sometimes it's not. I, can, I think it just depends on what the recipe is. So they kind of decide what you um, what is better for the recipe. And then we have the boneless pork chops. 
And there are two in there. It looks like they're fairly thick cut, so that's a good thing. You need two, you get two, so I appreciate that. And then in the very bottom is another one of the ice pack things, and it's frozen solid. Now, I have gotten these in the summer. This is the very beginning of October, and it's not super hot here in Texas. It, of course, it has been, you know, this summer. But there have been times when it's been sitting out on the porch all day until I get home, and it has been pretty melted. But everything in here is still cool or cold and you can really feel in here that it is pretty cool in here so that's a good thing if you're wondering what was in that envelope at the very beginning it is usually they have more I'm surprised they don't have as many but we have a wine voucher which I never do and then a thing for st. Jude's Children's Research Hospital if you're interested in donating and then also they give you a thing for um, your friends to get a free box. I'll put, if I can find a link that you can get something, you know, some free boxes, I'll put that down below and you can try it. I enjoy it, especially since it's just my husband and me here. And you know, it's just the two of us. When we make a meal, it's exactly enough for both of us. We might have a little bit of leftover that he might take for lunch uh, the next day. But for the most part, it's plenty for both of us for a meal. So they also do a serving of four. So we do the serving of two, but you can also do the serving of four. And um, so it would serve obviously a family of four. Now, one thing that I do like about every plate is that, so we've used other ones, Blue Apron, Fresh, and every plate. I actually like every plate the best out of all of them. And that's because I feel like they have more of a, of a variety of their choices. And with Blue Apron, I do appreciate about them is that they're recipes that you probably wouldn't try on your own. Like it's not probably, those recipes aren't something that you may have in your rotation um, because you've never done it, but they're always super good. So they're always really, really good. But what I like about every plate is they're just, if you wanna say quote unquote regular meals, I hate to say that, but it's kind, it is kind of that way. It's nothing like super fancy, but it's good. Um, so I think I really like every plate because of that. And one thing that's really good too, you know, is that you get these cards and you get to keep the cards. It tells you at the beginning um, how long it's gonna take you to prep and then how long it's gonna take you to make the meal. But, you know, when you're finished, you can keep these cards. I have a drawer with um, pretty much all the cards that I've liked, really, really liked, and I keep them. So I can go to the store if I wanna recreate it and just buy those things and I'm good to go. So I really like that you get cards um, with your box. That is it. If you have any questions about um, every plate or even the other ones that I mentioned, I might be able to answer it. It's been um, a month or two since I've gotten Blue Apron, but um, I can try to answer that for you. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will check out my other videos and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.